Hi guys and welcome to Everything in Middle Earth and today I will be explaining what happened to Aragorn after the return of the king. So, so far all you know is that at the end of the Lord of the Rings, the return of the king, Aragorn was crowned king by Gandalf and he had finally met back up with Arwen. Seems that we didn't meet up with her until I think he last saw her when the fellowship was departing in Rivendell. Shortly after his crowning, Aragorn married Erwin shortly afterwards. Aragorn would then go on to have one son with Erwin called Alderian. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right or not, I do apologise. And he does also have daughters whose names are not given to us by J.R.R. Tolkien. Aragorn ruled two kingdoms, the Kingdom of Gondor and the Kingdom of Arnor. His reign was marked with great harmony and prosperity within Gondor and Arnor because he united men, owls and dwarves together after the Great War. Seems that uh, this is a great achievement because owls and dwarves do not get along very well and if you've seen or read The Hobbit, the owls and dwarves did have a bit of a, a little bit of a battle before they were interrupted by orcs. Anyway, Aragorn managed to unite mass forces of men, elves and dwarves and led them mass forces to fight against Easterlings and, Her and the Heradrium who were still a threat to Middle-earth but not a big threat. He managed to regain territory that Gondor had lost in previous centuries from the Orcs, the Easterlings and the Heradrium. Eventually he finally did make peace with the Heradrium and the Easterlings so there was no threat now in Middle-earth, there was peace. Aragorn realised his days were at an end and went to the House of Kings in the Silent Street. He said his farewells to his son and his daughters. He also, he then went to Arwen saying, and this is the quote, In sorrow we must go, but not in despair. Behold, we are not bound forever to the circles of the world, and beyond them is more than memory. He died in the year 120 of the Fourth Age, at the age of 210, he was succeeded on the throne by his son, Aldrian. This is the description of Aragorn's death. Just reading it gets me emotional because the, the description uses such powerful words. Anyway, here is the description. Then a great beauty was revealed in him, so that all who after came there looked on him in wonder, for they saw that the grace of his youth and the valour of his manhood and the wisdom and majesty of his age were blended together. Along there he lay, an image of the kings of men in glory, undimmed before the breaking of the world. That's all guys for me. I mean, I've looked up and that's all I could find on Aragorn. If you want me to do any more characters, then please let me know in the comments. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and comment. Peace.